Hey, I'm making a claymation inspired 2.5D exploration game called Forklift Flowerpot, where you can change the seasons to solve puzzles on an alien planet. And this is week one of a 12 week series where I'm going to be polishing the vertical slice of my indie game. Now for this first week, I wanted to focus on the introduction of my game. I've been showing this work in progress demo at expos and conventions, and I've been noticing a lot of small things that I can improve with this introductory segment. I narrowed all this feedback into three key areas where I needed to improve my demo. Firstly, I needed a gentler introduction to the game mechanics. Secondly, I needed more character and humor. And third, well, you're gonna have to wait and see what that was all about. First, with the gentler introduction of game mechanics, I realized that throwing people immediately into a timed forklifting challenge was a little heavy on some folks. Most people were able to pick this up and complete it within the allotted time, but I think I needed a gentler introduction to how you can pick up boxes and put them on shelves. So I added another segment here where Spud Bubby, your boss, jumps in to tell you exactly how to pick up and put down boxes. The only rule, when you see a box, you put it where it needs to go, no questions asked. So with this simple introduction, we're given a low pressure assignment to pick up a box and put it on a shelf in order to complete our job for the day. Oh yeah, there was this boat that I had in the last demo and I decided to model a new one. It looks a little more boat-like now, though it doesn't quite fit with the aesthetic of the game. My goal for the visual aesthetic of this area is to have a contrast between the claymation-like natural elements of the world and the hard modeled rigid elements that Spud Bubby's shipping company represents. So for example, these warehouse shelves are modeled in Blender. They have hard surfaces and corners versus the forklift character itself and all of the natural things in the world which are modeled with clakesels and have more of this fuzzy look to them. This imprisoned windfish here is actually a perfect example of this. It's using the more fuzzy clakesels modeling style, but it's actually chained up via a hard surface modeled chain there. So even though those elements have completely different art pipelines, I'm hoping that it makes sense visually. What do you think? Is this a clashing style or does this make sense within the lore of the world? The second area I really wanted to focus on is giving the introduction more character. I recently played through Turnip boy commits tax evasion and I was enthralled by the humor in the game so I'd love to do something similar here and that was kind of my goal with reworking the introduction this week. So I spiced up the dialogue a little bit and added some animations to give Spud Bubby a little more character. Now when I try to uh, I'm gonna go try to pick up Spud Bubby now and uh, this behavior is not tolerated from employees so your termination is effective immediately upon doing this and you are murdered. Spud Bubby's also got some wonderful dance moves as we see down there. I think little moments like this will go a long way to making the game feel like it's full of surprises. So speaking of surprises, the number one request I got from people that were playing this demo is that they wanted to get Forklift Flowerpot certified by the end of the tutorial segment. So I added this little badge as a fun nod to that. And I think it's a funny moment in the game, especially if you aren't able to complete the task within the allotted amount of time you still get certified, like as a little hint to how ineffective and incompetent Spud Bubby's shipping company is. So let me know what you thought of the devlog and stay tuned because there are 11 more of these coming. Have you ever tried to do one of these timed challenges for your own game dev and how did it go? Let me know in the comments. There's a lot more to do here and I'm excited to see how it all goes. If you wanna support me in this endeavor, you can go wishlist Forklift Flowerpot on Steam. And when you do, you get Forklift Flowerpot certified. Until next time, I'll see you later.